Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. And why wouldn't you? Today, we are going to be talking about skincare. So, men's skincare is a huge passion of mine, as well as hair care. Um, I really enjoy it. All about the kind of gaining those tips, that little bit of knowledge, how we can look our best without making not too much of a change, without having to use all sorts of products, which I think this day and age, so many people can be kind of too far wrapped up in what we naturally are. So for example, if you have blemishes or if you are going through stress or if you are going through periods of your life where your skin is really drying out or you're really finding that how you're feeling, your skin is really making you feel quite down in the dumps, quite dull looking, perhaps you could use a bit of boost of energy, perhaps that you're moving from your 20s, 30s into 40s and you're finding you've got a few fine lines and you're finding some deep set wrinkles perhaps around your sort of the frown lines or perhaps around the eyes. Perhaps you really just want to have a look at your skincare as a man, you want to kind of revamp everything, perhaps concentrate on things a little bit more and get the best skin you can have. Now, what I really like to do is have a look at different products and explore with different products. Today, we're going to have a look at Number 7 Men Energizing Moisturiser. OK, so this one I purchased from Boots here in the UK, and that's for around about the £8 mark. I have found it on places like Amazon, those type of sort of online stores um, and it's a little bit more difficult to get because I believe it is from Boots. Number seven is their brand, as to speak. So it is, I paid anywhere between 8 50 and I think up to about £15 once as well. Um, but I'm not quite sure. I've used this a couple of times a few years ago and recently as well. So I can't quite remember the price range, but I've just checked online now. And if you were to buy it from Boots today, it's £8.50. Now, going back to what I was saying, so I'm a huge, huge believer that sometimes less is more and if you have got say for example you're struggling with your skin whether it be fine lines whether it be sort of dull looking skin sallow looking skin perhaps you're quite stressed perhaps you're struggling with adult acne you are you no product takes it away from how amazing as a person you are nobody should ever call you out whether you're going through something in your life perhaps you've got something which you're really self-conscious about with your skin perhaps you may have really severe acne perhaps you're um, a little bit concerned with fine lines and wrinkles. Do you know what? Absolutely does not matter. Embrace it because you will get through those dark and difficult times. And as long as you are healthy and happy inside, then that really, I truly do believe, expresses throughout your face and your skin. So if you have a healthy diet, if you live a life of moderation, whether that be alcohol, smoking a little bit different, of course, but whether that be small, little and often, and of course, looking after your body with exercise, de-stressing, you can help your skin really just through those simple measures and using great skincare. And you know what, if you have got, for example, something with your skin you're a little bit self-conscious about, finding a product which is going to work for you to help your confidence. Okay, so for example, today we're looking at energizing moisturizer. So for me, I really do have a lot of uh, stress in the background. I'm a naturally stressful person um, and I have lots of sort of long-term health problems in the background, which sometimes, to be quite honest with you, if I have, for example, I suffer vertigo quite badly, sometimes if I'm having a bad day, you can really tell from my skin. It seems to be quite dull, quite sort of unwell looking, quite pale. Um, and of course, you need that boost of kind of uh, energy in the skin to really awaken everything up and to boost that sort of vitality and that health throughout your skin. Now, whether you want to use any products to kind of cover up your skin, then there are out there. It's not what I would like to do at all. When I say about that you should work with what you have, I mean that if we're going through acne with the right products, yes, you might not be able to clear the acne on the day, but you can still look great. You can still have that shine or matte effect, of course, of acne or that, that kind of real boost of kind of energy and that sort of shine about you that you can be the most confident. Uh, for example, if you're having problems with fine lines, wrinkles, that type of thing, I would say don't get rid of them. They are you. Of course, everybody's different to their own. Use a product which is going to control that, which is going to give your skin a little bit more resistance. Don't just jump straight into extreme things. I think we now live in a world where very quickly from early, let's say early 20s, sometimes late teens, when people are ready to jump into really invasive things, really unknown products, which potentially have 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 the potential of causing real lasting damage. So I really do find that sometimes just work one step at a time, find something which is great for you, whether that be a choice of cleanser, whether that be a choice of moisturizer. Today, we're talking uh, we're talking moisturizer, we're talking energizing. Um, energizing, so we've got here a boost of vitamin C to help recharge tired looking skin. Hypoallergenic, daily care, sensitive. 
It's a sun protection factor of 15, which is very different for me. I don't often pick a sun... Um, sun. <laughs> I don't often, I'd like to pick the sun all the time, but I don't often pick a moisturiser which has that in, because number one, living here in the UK, and this is going to sound awful, we don't really have really strong sunshine like that throughout the spring. We do, of course, later in the spring, but then throughout the winter and things. But what I've quickly realised that using this with a sun protection factor in, you've got that added protection. So for example, if fine lines and wrinkles are concerning for you, then you really want to protect your skin because you don't want any of that photo ageing, you don't want any of those negative effects from the sun which are going to really start to prematurely age your skin but that at the same time if you're in your 20s and early 30s you can still be subjected to adult acne so you don't want something which is going to be really heavy really cakey and set on your skin you don't want something which is almost going to feel like you've got a heavy product on your skin you want something which is going to give you that glow about you you want something to still make you feel as confident in your skin, but you don't want that huge shine on your skin. So straight away, I can tell that I've had this on, I've used this for a while now, and um, I used this about uh, five o'clock this morning, and I started work um, very early this morning. I've been in the office all day today. I've not long got home, and I am a little bit kind of uh, unsure about it, because what I've noticed straight away, okay, it is a little bit thicker when you rub this in, okay, um, it's quite rich, it's quite intense, so for me, it's energising, which always tells me that it's a morning product, now I would straight away say, this is very, very good, it does, as you can see, it really does bring my skin kind of to life, I know you may think, how on earth is he telling that, but I mean, around my eyes, sometimes around my eye area is quite dark and quite sallow, I don't sleep particularly well, and again, around here, if I have a heavy product, I can get a little bit of almost like a slight breakout under the skin, but it never actually forms into anything. So for me, I've used it for a couple of days now, and I don't think you can see, but I have got this starting to happen here. So this is a bit of a negative for me. So there is something kind of forming sort of like, um, under, I don't want to say acne because it isn't, but it's sort of like bumpy under the skin. So I know that it's a bit too rich for me. It's a little bit too oily for me. So it's starting to kind of block those, those glands there. So I really want to be a little bit careful with that as well. Now I always, um, I always cleanse my face and then I always use moisturizer after. You have to find that balance to have good skincare. Now I know that this is this product because I never have this on my skin at all. And the other thing I would probably just say with this is even though it's good and it does put the energy into your skin and it really does make you look full of life, it is quite heavy and I can feel that it's just actually sort of moved across my eyes and actually into my eyes because I can feel as I've got a product. So I do find myself at the moment just kind of having to either grab a tissue or just wipe sort of my hand across my eye just to remove some of that product which is slowly sort of seeping into my eyes which is really uncomfortable particularly because I wear glasses as well and as you can see it's getting just a little bit agitated there so do just approach that with caution it is a great product it does absolutely boost energy in the skin and I can really really tell that I've had actually a comment from my mum when I came first thing downstairs this morning after using this that she said that my skin looked really really well and actually it really does if you get a comment like that I know parents are biased but my mum absolutely is truth through and through. If there's something she doesn't like or there's something she doesn't think doesn't quite suit me, then through love she tells me straight away and I absolutely respect that. So straight away I know that this product did work. Um, I love the fact that it's got the sun protection factor in here as well so I know that if the sun was out today, unfortunately it's a little bit dull today, but it's really going to protect my skin like that. It's got the boost of vitamin C so it's going to recharge my skin as well. Let's have a look on the back here. So if you're, uh, is your is your busy lifestyle leaving your skin looking tired and dull? Yes, it is. This light refreshing formula containing vitamin C gives your skin the extra wake up boost it needs. So it absolutely does that. And I completely agree. The only thing is I wouldn't say that this is light. I'd say it was a little bit more of a heavier formation. Um, and then we have got here, excuse me. <coughs> then we have got here. Uh, with antioxidants to help maintain skin's natural defenses, keeping the skin looking younger and fresh for the day ahead. For best results, use every morning smooth into your face and neck, paying more attention to drier areas. So this is what I like. So I can see straight away that around my eye area, I've not got that sort of slight sallowness, that slight dullness. And my face does look brighter. It does look energised. Bearing in mind, this is just a moisturiser. I know there are men's products out there with colours and sort of tints and things in. This does not have that at all. This is purely working on the ingredients in here, the antioxidants in here, and that shot of vitamin C to really boost that sort of hydration in the skin, moisture levels, and just that health, that sort of boost of health, which energizing products so often give. It's just a little bit too heavy for me. Um, and as I say, it is a little bit heavy because it's starting to sort of just make me a little bit sort of 
um, blocks you a little bit, sort of as I've got a few blocked pores coming along under my sort of lip line here and jawline. So something just to be aware of. It's sensitive, which I love with number seven men's products as well. And I just want to see. It's not actually on the back of here, but I've read in the packaging, and I can't quite remember where, that they actually choose it to be sensitive, and all of uh, number seven men's products are sensitive because, and they, and this is their words, not mine, that all skin can be sensitive at one time or another. And I absolutely love that ethos. So that's another thing why I would absolutely recommend number seven for men. And there are other ranges out there in number seven for men. So for example, there is an aging range, an anti-aging range for men. There's energizing. There's all sorts of things behind that. Shaving products, moisturizers, cleansers, scrubs. And some of them are great. Some of them are a little bit too harsh for my skin. Um, but however, the moisturizer, I absolutely love. If it would have been a little bit lighter, it would have been absolutely perfect product. I only currently actually concentrate on moisturizers because that's something which I'm quite passionate about because, of course, the right moisturiser has the power to either make your skin look absolutely perfect, really, really healthy, really, really on point, giving you great confidence, or has the power to bring acne, greasiness, those sort of horrible feelings where it's kind of a bit heavy on your skin, that type of thing, and you can't wait to wash your face. So I'm always really interested in men's skincare and moisturisers kind of mainly. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. It's 50 mils. It's about £8.50 to £12, possibly a little bit more expensive. I absolutely love this product. I really hope that you would too. It is a little bit on the heavy side, so just have a little bit of caution with that. If you do suffer with adult acne or anybody who's watching this who has acne, then just be cautious with this and only use a small amount if you do try it. Okay. And then probably with that, you could pair that with the facial scrub. Okay. Which is in this range as well. And I have used that. For me, it's a little bit too harsh. I use that once a week if I do choose to use it. If not, once every couple of weeks, sometimes not at all. Um, but they do work really, really great together. But for me, it is a little bit too harsh. Even though it's a sensitive uh, product, I just find that the actual sort of the scratchy elements from the actual scrub um, is a little bit too much for my skin. But this, absolutely love it. Usually cleansing for me is enough rather than going in for that deep scrub. But sometimes I do do that. But then, of course, this is rich. This is nourishing. So that's a really great partner. But for me, as I say, this scrub is just a little bit too far. But this is great, just a little bit too rich. You can say I'm a bit picky, but of course, it's just having that great interest in men's skincare. If you have any questions at all for me, please come back to me. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as I can. I love receiving your comments. I really do. Thank you very, very much. And to all my subscribers, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means the world to me. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me on this clip. And until next time, I really recommend this product. And I hope to be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.